In town, they tell the story of the Marsh Girl, the one who grew up alone in the wild. But they never really knew me. Like most stories, the facts don't weigh into it. What made you guys say yes? Obviously, the you've read the book, but was it like just being able to kind of bring these characters to life and really, especially for you, Daisy, you know, getting to play Kaya? I read the book when I was auditioning. And so, you know, when I was reading it, I was really kind of imagining how I would approach the character. And, and then I read the script and Lucy Alibar, a screenwriter, I was already a huge fan of her work. So to see what she did with the book was so incredible. I think it's such a beautiful, timeless uh, story. And and I think Kaya is such an aspirational character and, and, you know, a complicated, resilient, strong, curious person that I really wanted to spend some time with. It's a story of survival. It's a murder mystery. Um, it's a story of finding love. It's a, a story of finding your own self-worth and standing up for yourself. So, you know, that was the challenge in the script is how much weight do we give each of these aspects? And then how can we sort of braid them together so that you're never losing touch with the murder mystery. You're always in, you know, it's always suspenseful. And that was the challenge from beginning to end, I would say. It reminded me, it lived in the same space as To Kill a Mockingbird. And there's an opportunity to, to look back at ourselves as a people, as, as Black people in this country, and understand sort of the tightrope um, with which we had to, to walk, you know, especially for, for characters like, you know, Mabel and Jumpin', who are actually business owners in Jim Crow South. To me, that was a really compelling notion, you know, as far as how do you how do you represent that and represent that in an in an accurate, honest, and sincere way without revising, you know, history, but yet trying to maintain the kind of dignity our people, our ancestors would have to have. We all on the same page because I literally was thinking as actors, how do you guys harken back to that time? Do you think of stories your grandmother told you, your parents told you about that time yes. in Jim Crow South? And how, what is it? what are those emotions like? Do you take a beat and go, wow, we have come a long way, but maybe not so much? This woman in 2022 doesn't have to reach too far back because we experience the same things as things have changed, things have stayed the same, and we all, all African people understand that, right? So it, 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 is, it is making sure that the stories we tell, we as African people come from a truthful place. Yeah, in a sense, we have a kind of innate cultural literacy as to how we have to approach roles like this. What we have to confront is to what degree are we willing to embrace the kind of pain that, that that elicits. But it is that pain that helps us have greater empathy for those that went before us. So yeah. these kinds of roles are an honor in that way. It's a very moving story, you know, it, like there's so much about it that is incredibly human and relatable and, and powerful. And I, yeah, I, I definitely was moved.